So here we're given the circle and the shaded region, which is really a, a sector of the circle. Radius is R. And I'm going to call this angle here theta. This theta is in radians. And uh, we're told that the perimeter of the shaded region is 105. So it's going to be 2R. And then this curved part, which would be R theta. Now, the area of the sector is half r squared theta. Again, theta is in radians. Now, I need to maximize the area, so I'm going to write everything in terms of uh, radius, sorry, radius, which means I'm going to eliminate theta. So I'm using this equation to express theta in terms of r. So that's theta. I'm going to replace that here. So now I have area as a function of radius because I need to find the value of r that would maximize the area that r knocks out. I'm going to distribute the r. You'll see why. So that's my area function. If you notice, this is a quadratic. And this is a downward opening parabola because you have a negative coefficient here. We need to find the value of r for which this is maximum. So that's the where the axis of symmetry is. And if you know this result, if you have a general quadratic axis of symmetry is minus b over 2a. That is the corresponding r value for which you will get uh, the maximum. So here that means r max, or I should say r, that would give me the maximum area would correspond to minus b over 2a, b is 105 over 2 times minus 2, so 105 over 4, and if you do this division to 8, you get 26.25, so that's the value of r that will maximize this area.